Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Steve Pointer from fitnesspointers.com. My good friend Jeffrey Decker has reached out and asked me a couple questions, uh, and I'm here to answer them. I would have done a Facebook Live video, but I'm deep in the sticks of Kentucky with little to no internet access, so I think the Facebook bit or the YouTube video is the way to go for this. Uh, just delivered a bunch of meals uh, to a company down here in uh, in the sticks of Kentucky. Anyway, uh, Jeff asked me a few questions about you know what are the what are some questions I get you know throughout the year or more so at the end of the year going into the new year about uh, people looking to better their health or you know lose weight, lose fat, whatever the case may be. Uh, me personally, a lot of the emails I get are along the lines of what would be the best program for them. You know, um, being, you know, on social media and, you know, these people either seeing links I post up or transformations I post up or seeing the link that someone else may have shared, which for those of you who do this and those of you who give me shout outs, I greatly appreciate it. Uh, so when a person emails me or, you know, sends me a message on Facebook or whatever the case may be, they normally already tell me what their goal is. And uh, I may ask them, you know, in return, you know, how's your eating? What your eating consists of? Uh, give me some details, you know, what that may be. Other questions I may ask if they don't provide it are, are you active? Do you go to a gym? Do you have workout equipment at home? Um, What's your water intake per day? Uh, there's just a lot of questions, you know, that that I ask that will help me, you know, suggest a program for this person. Uh, some of them ask for tips, you know, I, I'll give tips. Uh, I wish that I had someone to give me tips. When I started doing this back in 2001, if you saw my videos before, you know, I stated that, you know, I was 21 years old and I was 129 pounds. I uh, didn't like the way I looked. I wore baggy clothes to hide, you know, how skinny I was. I was the skin and bones, basically. Uh, anyways, I decided to get into the gym and, you know, started studying nutrition and, you know, what nutrition can do for me. And, you know, once I figured out how important nutrition was, I started to really see some changes within myself. And today, you know, I've... Uh, I've competed four to five times. I've uh, today I weigh 190 pounds, which I'm not shredded by no means right now. But uh, you know, all the uh, progress progress that I've made has been uh, based on my nutrition. Nutrition is the key to fat loss, lean muscle gains, all of it. Uh, some questions I get is if I start to weight train will I gain all this muscle I don't want to be huge well the fact of weight training is just because you lift weights doesn't mean you're going to get huge okay there's a reason they're pro bodybuilders they have insane genetics they may have access to supplements that other people don't have they may choose to use these supplements that other people may not choose to use and when I say supplements I don't mean pre-workouts I don't mean protein powder thermogenic fat burners you know what I mean so what's up with that all right you can weight train it takes years and years and years to build a lot of muscle you can gain a little muscle and it's not going to make you huge all right you you may be able to see it but you're not, more than likely you're probably not going to be huge unless you're eating to the point to where you're going to pack on a lot of muscle and you, you're uh, you have those sick genetics or you know you're taking those extra supplements whatever the case may be um, but again nutrition is to me is the key to it all 80 percent in fact um, there's a statement and you know I've saw it a few times and I'm sure other people have too 
and it goes you can't out train a bad diet and that to me is a fact and every time anything you hear me say is my opinion okay um, I have my beliefs I do what I think works I've been doing this I've been online training since 2009 I've had some people make amazing transformations uh, and I've had people fail but the main reason people fail is that they can't the nutrition aspect of it there's a big difference you know you tell someone you know take in this amount of chicken breast or you know whatever uh, there's a difference in I've had people say I, just through the grapevine you know you told so-and-so to eat this much chicken or chicken breast well they went to McDonald's and got a chicken uh, chicken breast sandwich it doesn't take a lot of common sense to understand I don't think there's probably some trainers but I'm not a trainer that's going to tell you to go out and eat McDonald's all right there's situations that you may get into that may force you to eat at a fast food restaurant or you know a steakhouse or whatever the case may be but the chicken you take in should be grilled it should be unbreaded if you go to Wendy's or if you go to McDonald's they have grilled chicken sandwiches what you can do in that case is simply remove the bread you still may have a little soda extra sodium or you know uh, I'm not really sure what all they cook it in you know the grilled chicken but more than likely it's not anything like grease uh, deep fried you know so you know that's just a little something there to take into consideration uh, following a good nutrition plan is hard there's nothing easy about it at all it, to some people it's a complete lifestyle change uh, there's always going to be slip ups there's always going to be times that you know you fall off the wagon so to speak but when it happens there's not a reason to continue to take the down road spiral the rest of the day if something happens you miss a meal or you take in for whatever reason some bad food so be it man you know it's going to happen just pick yourself up get back to your clean eating the next meal and it's not going to hurt you but if you do this daily if you do this multiple times a day you can expect your progr your progression or what could have been go down the drain um, there's Jeff asked what myths do I see what approaches do I see out there that I may not agree with to me I think the macro counting you know is uh, I don't agree with it personally it's not something that I would ever do I think any coach any trainer out there that charges for a program you should tell this person that's paying you this money exactly how to eat I tell people that I'm training exactly what to eat it's broken down to the grams to the ounces meal by meal food by food that way the person is not left to guess you don't leave them in a position to where they can fail if they fail it's just it's going to be their fault when you go into the macro counting if you tell a person you know take in 50 grams of carbs take in 50 grams of fat those 50 grams of carbs could be a pop tart compared to 50 grams of jasmine rice or sweet potato you're spiking your insulin levels at a time that may not be necessary to me the best times to spike your insulin level is post-workout in the past you know I've suggested candy as a post-workout intake which is you know has a lot of sugar which is good post-workout you spike those insulin levels you're putting your body in a recovery state for those looking to build muscle it's a good you know that's what you want uh, 
I don't do candy so much anymore. I find, you know, whole foods to be more beneficial. Uh, something about me is I'm always looking to learn. I'm always studying uh, new approaches. Not really new approaches, but just what can I do to help this person, you know, more. Back in the, when I first started, you know, training, I wasn't, I, I could help someone progress, but the knowledge I had back then compared to today is, we'll say night and day, you know, I've learned a lot over the years just from uh, when I've competed and, you know, how I've uh, been fortunate enough to work with some really dedicated people who didn't mind, you know, going through sort of like what you would call a trial and error stages with me. Um, everyone's different, you know, what works for this person may not work for this person. So, you know, uh, this person may need higher carbs, lower carbs, more fat, less fat, higher protein, lower protein. This person may be a vegetarian. This person may be a vegan.